Well, what a night it was here in Osaka, the new beginning event and a culmination of an incredible tour. It began in Sapporo, it weaved its way throughout the countryside to Cork and Hall and then here to Osaka tonight. Don Callis, Kevin Kelly, we were ringside. What a remarkable main event, what a night it was, Don. Another notch in the belt of Kazuchika Okada. He has done it once again. Unbelievable, did it without Gato at ringside. Did it against some very, very heavily stacked odds as Sonata gained more momentum. What a great match. The question now is, who, if anyone, can beat the champion? Well, and again, you start to look at the world of Okada, and he has just about beat them all. There are very few men left. There was speculation after the fact. Challenge issued and accepted. It looks as if it will be uh, Will Ospreay, the IWGP Junior Heavyweight Champion. Congrats to him. Uh, for a successful title offense here tonight against Kazuchika Okada. We are speculating that it will be at the anniversary event on March the 6th. There is a possibility it could be part of the New Japan Cup. The good news is we've got coverage of both right here with English commentary on NJPWWorld.com. It is going to be a huge, huge month of March, and February is not done with. We'll be back on the 23rd and 24th at Cork, and there was some news made tonight regarding March 25th and Strong Style Evolved. Talk about a challenge issued and accepted. Rey Mysterio, I mean, talk about one of the biggest names in the history of the wrestling business, challenging another legend, Jushin Thunder Liger, challenge accepted. I'm very stoked for that. I'd pay money out of my own pocket to see that. We would be happy to sell you a ticket. No. However, they're all sold out. Damn it. And no surprise, because wherever New Japan Pro Wrestling is, it is the hottest ticket in town. They sold out Osaka faster than any other event here in history, 26 days in advance before even one match was announced. Same said for Strong Style Evolve, March 25th, Walter Premier Pyramid, but we do know it will be Rey Mysterio making his New Japan Pro Wrestling debut against Jushin Thunder Liger. That's gonna be great. So if you look down the card, uh, a 3-2 win for Chaos versus Los Ingobernables de Japón. Is it settled now between the two factions? Never settled, Kevin. Never settled. Gonna go on. It's a war of attrition, not over at all. Absolutely not. Obviously, nothing settled between Togi Makabe and Minoru Suzuki, the Intercontinental Champion. Challenge issued, tonight accepted, so it will be at some point soon for the Intercontinental title, Makabe versus the King. Whatever institution, shall we say, that Yano gets examined at, yes. I think that perhaps Makabe should go and visit that team as well. That team of psychiatrists from Switzerland or whatever Yano's got working on his head. Because only an idiot, only a fool, only a defective would get into the ring with the great one, Minoru Suzuki. Tetsuya Naito took everything that Yoshihashi had to offer tonight, but still was able to be victorious. When you look at what uh, Yoshihashi was able to do, there was some moments, certainly there are some bright spots, and we have to wonder what's next for Tetsuya Naito. We have to wonder what's going to happen at New Japan Cup, because there's athletes we've speculated on as to who will throw their hat in the ring for this single elimination tournament. The winner of the tournament gets to pick the singles champion of his choosing. Most people, most years, choose the uh, IWGP heavyweight champion, but it could be anyone. With the expansion globally of New Japan and New Japan World, you might pick the U.S. champion, Switchblade sure. Jay White, because you might want to step out onto the international stage. So a lot of questions this year about who one would pick. Right, absolutely. So the best thing for you to do is to follow everything on njpwworld.com as well as our English language site, njpw1972.com, and also subscribe to our YouTube page because there you can see translated post-match interviews from the native Japanese speakers, and you could always learn more about what is going on. What's next for Don and I is we very quickly jettison back to North America, only to basically repack our bags and come back over here for the 23rd and 24th Cork and Hall and the Honor Rising events ROH and New Japan collide. And I understand that all the wrestlers in the ROH, they got great wrestlers in Ring of Honor, are very excited to hear the dulcet tones of Don Callis yeah. calling Ring of Honor. It was the one thing that was missing from that promotion. I can't wait. Well, we're going to see what happens on the 23rd and 24th. But with that, we will wrap things up here in Osaka. It has been a remarkable night. If for some reason you missed the event live, it's OK. You can see the replay, njpwworld.com. For Don Callis, I'm Kevin Kelly. We'll see you in Corkin on the 23rd and 24th, everybody.